well, so it's a subtle sort of um, whenever Joanne and Joe have something to celebrate, they're jumping on their bed. <laughs> when was the last time you jumped on your bed to celebrate something? I just jumped on my bed in Toronto. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really? I'm like not very long ago actually. Yeah, I had a little <laughs> bottle of champagne and I opened it. It was jumping up and down on the yeah. bed. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, quite recently, actually. <laughs> awesome. Um, uh, but part of the funny stuff is also some emotional stuff in the movie. Um, like um, Joanne saying if she wanted to have another personality back then, she would have gone another route, path. Um, I was wondering um, how important was your personality when you started Buffy Perry, and what do you think how important it was to have the personality to get there where you are now? That's a very interesting question because I think my personality is very, very different from the characters that I play. I think the characters I play give me a chance to express myself uh, in a way that I rarely express myself in life. I've, I've found life much more uh, challenging and problematic than my work. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, they, they both inform each other. But mm -hmm. I consider myself, I actually have recently accepted the fact that I'm basically an introvert and that I, I, I'm, I exist very much in my head and um, I don't particularly enjoy going into great groups of people and I'd like very much to be at home with my dog and a good book and <laughs> some wonderful friends. So, you know, that's my reality. Um, but. Um, you know, to have the outlet with my imagination. And um, I still feel incredibly passionate about my, my craft. That's, I feel very blessed to have that. And since Joanne is dealing with disappointment and com when it comes down to her skills, um, what would you say has been your biggest disappointment so far when it comes down to the film industry? To? To the film industry. Your to the industry. film industry? Exactly. <coughs> Um, I well, hope to see more women behind the camera. I think that's slowly changing. Right. Um, but that's always something that I've really wanted to see more of. <laughs> you know, I think I think women have extraordinary perspective on the world, and uh, I think that perspective can be beautifully conveyed through the lens. So hopefully that happens more often. I just thought, and also on a more personal basis, and I know Andy's gone through it as well. When you're starting out, you get a lot of rejection. Mm. And that's very disappointing, and um, but it's a test, you know. In right. some ways, it's a test it, because it's it's not an easy profession. And I think a lot of the general public who look in on it say, "Oh, anybody can act," you know. You, then you get into a beautiful gown and you walk on the red carpet. Not, you know. I do not. I don't think that's what we do. Yeah. You know. I think. <laughs> Our challenge is to, is to really choose stories that will remind people of their humanity and take them through an emotional experience. And, and it's terrible to want something or, you know, to feel that you can do it and, and, then, and then say, no, well, you know, the job isn't yours. That's, that's, so there is a lot of disappointment um, that comes with this, <coughs> with this profession. Me. But it's you, you know, you have to keep that crazy belief. Right. Certainly. Uh, yeah, I was wondering, um, since it is about approval, uh, since baby voice is about approval, um, uh, which, which person's approval means the most to you? I'll answer this question and then bring it up. Which person's approval means the most to me? I think at this point I have to I have to think that I've done a good job. Right. I mean, I think if I'm working with a director that I trust, his approval, his, I don't know, approval is the right word. Uh, to know that he thinks we have it, you know, yeah. uh, that means a lot. But I honestly feel that if I if I've done if I feel I have done the best that I could do, and then people don't like it. 
Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> All right. So don't, yeah. don't flip out like Joe does when, when uh, Joanne tells him about his wooden character. You're, you're not like... No. So I think I would push back. I mean, but but if I did, you know, but he has doubts about himself. Yeah. So if somebody expresses, you know, puts their their finger on a very tender nerve, uh, he probably wonders if you know if he has the ability himself. And she goes right to that, says, "No, you're not who you think you are. You're not the writer that you want to be." So that's very painful.